So today I am 14 weeks pregnant. So I should also kind of say, welcome to my second trimester. As you can obviously see, I am not an artist at all. <laughs> my husband had to leave for job training and he didn't have enough time to do my board for me. So this is what it looks like when Kristen has to do the boards. I can't draw guys, it's embarrassing how badly I draw. So <laughs> next week he'll do the board so it'll look much better. I always tell you guys my symptoms first, so I'm gonna start with that. I have no nausea whatsoever, except when I take my prenatal vitamin. So I've just kept taking my prenatal at night so I'm not sick and having to deal with it in the middle of the day because that is very miserable. Um, but that's the only time I get sick. The fatigue is completely gone, except if Dev and I are like really busy that day and we have to run all over creation doing all kinds of errands, then I get tired and then I'm very fatigued. But it's not to a point to where it's like, Oh my gosh, I cannot wait until nap time. Please go to sleep so I can get sleep, get to sleep too. It's not quite like that, <laughs> which is how bad it was with Carly and Kenley. Oh well, Carly was our first. Uh, but with Kenley, it was like, I can't wait until Carly takes a nap so I can nap too. <laughs> um, this baby, I've never gotten that. But it is bad enough where I just want to come home and sit on the couch and basically be a couch potato the rest of the evening because I am tired. This week, I have had heartburn like, whoa, <laughs> like lots and lots of heartburn, and it's killing me. It's killing me all day. Today, for instance, I have had it all day. I have it right now, actually, and I just can't get rid of it. I've taken a, what's it, what is it? I forget the name of it, but it's a like 24 hour um, heartburn control kind of pill. I can't remember what it's called. And then it only worked for like an hour, and now it's back. And then I took a couple tums, which only worked for not even an hour, <laughs> and then it came back. And I'm not one of those people that likes to take a whole bunch of medicine, especially when I'm pregnant. I mean, most especially when I'm pregnant. So I'm, re I'm really iffy about it. So even though it's just heartburn medicine, <laughs> so I'm trying to like suffer a little bit until it gets closer to, you know, going to bed. And then I will probably take a couple more tums and try to go to sleep. My boobs have grown like at least a cup. Like this is crazy. My boobs didn't grow at all with the girls until I gave birth. And of course your milk comes in so you get really engorged so your boobs grow. But uh, before then my boobs didn't grow at all. Like they just stay the same. This baby my boobs have grown. Like I am barely in this bra. Like it fits me to a T and if I get any bigger I won't be able to wear this bra. <laughs> I've tried on my nursing bras and I float in them. Like I'm way too small. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to buy some bras like for that in-between space, but I am growing out of all of my bras. Another symptom that has been horrible this week have been headaches. I get them either first thing in the morning or in the, sometime in the evening. And man, they just, it's this constant like dull in the front of my head and it's really not fun. I try not to take any Tylenol unless I absolutely have to. Again, I'm just so weird about medicine. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I don't know. But I get it like every day. I'm starting to get one right now and it's, a, it's very dull and it's in the front of my head. But it's not like bad enough to have to take Tylenol yet so I'm trying to hold off. But headaches have been really bad this week. My sciatic pain has been the same as it always been and now that I'm in my second trimester, I just know it's going to get worse because this is not my first rodeo and I know that once I hit my second trimester, my belly gets really big. Um, and it's just my body, guys. I don't know. I already feel big and when I do a belly shot, you'll see what I mean. But I get like a belly belly and I just know by the time I'm probably 20-ish weeks or so, give or take, my sciatic pain is going to be probably a lot worse. I'm also starting to get a little bit of low back pain. It comes and it goes. Um, if I've been walking a lot, it's like this dull ache on the very low of my back. But it's not like a big deal. It's not something that is just, oh my gosh, awful. It's nothing like that. It's just something that aches me if I walk a lot that day. Okay, please try not to think I'm crazy because I know that I'm not. But <laughs> I swear to you guys, hand to God, I swear to you I'm feeling baby movement. I know I'm 14 weeks, I see that there. Um, but I'm, I'm telling you, I feel baby movement. Um, it's not all the time. Like if I stand and walk around, I don't feel anything. I'm not that far along. Wait until I'm like 20 weeks, I, I, then I'll feel it. But I do feel baby movement if I lay on my side or on my back or anytime I'm laying down, I feel baby movement. Occasionally, if I'm sitting there, I will feel like little flutters. 
But the biggest movement that I feel is when I'm on my back. And I kid you not, I can't make this up. I woke up this morning and I wish I would have taken a picture. But I looked down at my belly and there was this little ball that was on the right side of my belly down there. And it was all bunched up and it was contorting my belly into an awkward shape and I was like oh that's the baby <laughs> and I wanted so bad to like you know put my hand over it and try to feel movement but I no no I'm I'm not that far along yet baby's still really little you know I kind of got excited I was like oh in other baby news my high risk doctor appointment is this week if you don't know why I'm seeing a high risk doctor I will link the video down below in the description bar so that you all will know what's going on because it's a lot to explain uh, but that that appointment is this week. I was told by my OB that I would get a high def ultrasound. That's what she called it. And she said that they're going to look at everything. Not just baby's heart, but baby's everything. And I'm hoping that by baby's everything, she also means to take a peek down there. I mean, I'm not putting all my hopes on it because I'll only be like 14 weeks and some days. So I'm not like, you know, hoping for it because that's really kind of still early. But part of me is like, I really hope they at least let me guess. <laughs> I, I at least want a pretty good guess. But the important thing is that we get to see baby and make sure that uh, heart's okay, which is the most important thing, that baby's heart's okay. It'll be a big relief to know that baby's doing okay. We already got the Harmony test results back and baby is low risk. There's nothing that came back abnormal, so uh, which is so good. As far as naming this baby, we still don't know what we're going to name him or her. We have a first name for a girl picked out and a middle name for a boy picked out. And I, I think, I think, I'm not 100%, but I threw a girl name out there at Devin and he didn't hate it. <laughs> and he was giving me good vibes about it, so I think he likes it. I don't know if this is the name he's going to go with, but I'm kind of hoping because he seemed to like it whenever I said it. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because I'm waiting until the gender slash name reveal. But I think he likes it. So that might be our girl name. We might have that figured out. To give you guys a weight update, my pre-pregnancy was 145 and I'm now at 156. So I've gained one pound since the last time that I talked to you guys, which isn't like a big deal. I always gain about 10 pounds in my first trimester, 20 pounds in my second trimester, and 20 pounds in my third. I know. It's a lot. I think so too. I don't know why I always gain that much. I guess it's just my body and the way that it is. Now I'm going to do a belly shot and show you guys what my belly looks like this week. So this is what my belly looks like at 14 weeks and I feel so big. I feel like I'm already 20 plus weeks. I just don't know why I feel this way because I lost a lot of weight after I had McKinley. If, if you want to watch it, I'll link it in the description bar below. Just, you know, in my head I thought, oh, okay, I won't get as big this fast this time around. And well, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> but that's okay, it really is okay. Um, I'm pregnant, I'm growing a baby. You, your body kind of has to change, so I'm making my peace with it. I still love my little bump, even though it looks bigger than I expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be vlogging more this week, so be on the lookout for upcoming videos. Thanks guys. Bye.